Let's see, what are his magic points? 21? I mean, it's a decent amount. Even if it's like a heal every other turn, that's better than nothing. She has 416 hit points. Her guard rate should be like less than 1%. Let's be serious here. Can't really transfer anything. Well, I can at least get her stuck there. It's still 50 damage. And I can just move Pike out. Well, Pike has a resistance to ice, so that might actually work out. Problem is, I don't think I can destroy the block after, so that might be a bad move. And not much I can do here. I was just saying. Uh. Attack with Thunder Rod. Nobody really needs some heals. That's why I can kind of cycle people out up there. I don't think she can get out of that corner. Oh my god, that hurts. As long as I can get a few little bitch hits on him, I'm fine with that. Day damage is pretty good. Uh, let's see, do either of you have items? Do you have a higher? So I might just use that. Die 68 damage. I mean, it'd probably only give him like 20 hit points, if even. Be pissed if it was like 100. 25, eh, it's 
it's still survivability. Yeah, you don't have an item because you already used yours. Thunderbolt really is useful. Even if it's not really great on damage, it's still damage that wouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll do a big heal next turn. on that block and block make multiple times. Yeah, because we want her to attack first anyway. Because if I can cut him off, that'd be great. Because if I put another block on top, I don't think he can jump up. I think that's that would be three or four height. I think it's four height. Yeah, he's low on hit points. I got it. Two level ups every battle. Yeah, you're level 30. God damn. Alright, uh. You bastard. sucks. Just give up. I mean, at this point, you're pretty much boned. You're stuck in a corner, surrounded. You have no text to survive. Like... Yeah, next turn, you're dead. Like, you may regain health, but... Pretty much, I can do enough damage this turn to kill you. 
And if if these two can't, I can just swap them out with these two and just finish the job. Like, you are done. I mean, I could even shine it on by putting a heal up on, but I'd rather save one for this dickhead. Shots are the best shots. Oh, come on! Really? He has knuckles and a dagger. Or is it knuckles and a sword? Yeah, knuckles and a sword. Let's be serious here. No. I'll try to surround him or find some way to pin him down. Stay there and heal for a little bit. I don't think he has any attacks that are like multi range. He has a poison slash, which is annoying, and a lot of that brawler. Double slash, which of course his double slash will probably like mess me up really bad. If he was a mage, he would be wrecking face down there right now. Okay. Let's see. No. Okay, so I can probably move there. Is that in the red area? Ah, oh, right there should be safe. Ow. Pretty much be all of his magic points. Oh, no, no, it wouldn't. Yeah, it's 15, it's 8, 12, 18. Twenty-one. Jeez, twenty-one magic points to have a chance to paralyze somebody.
really wish you could block make like that. That means it, it'll force him to go the other way. Unless he, like, jumps down and goes around and attacks him. Let's see. What is your range? Not very big. So let's just move you here. I mean, it is risky, because someone may die. Like, she may take a big hit or something. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. the most awkwardly placed arrow. Dude, I almost killed him in a single turn. A lucky shot with a double strike that does way too much damage. Oh my god, what a bunch of bullshit. LFO did basically like just the perfect amount of damage to kill him, but like if I do a double strike, it does like 40 damage. They do a double strike, it does like 90 damage. God, I really want to change Guilty into a uh, anything else. Because he just sucks. Like, every battle, you're on the bottom part. I need to re-get both of these, although it's not really too priority to get them. Wait a minute. So I don't have to do that again. How far back would I have to go? Not that far. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Yeah, I'd rather start from here. Yeah, go ahead and cast your napalm ring.
I'll come down. Oh! Oh yeah, because I'll attack guilty. I forgot about that. And then I move him over here to attack him. And hopefully he doesn't block this time. could just kill him next turn, and then I wouldn't have to worry about guilty. Yeah, I know, freak out. But then I have to be careful of him. Guilty dying. Look like 113. You'll be low, but I don't think you'll get killed by anything. Just end that guy. has it there so I can hit both of them. So let's so move here. So that way it only hits one person. I mean I prefer it to only hit one person really. Let's be serious here. This is a cool effect though. Did a really good job with that. stuck in a corner now. I thought he'd go for guilty. Oh, well, if his attack gets guarded, I'll just have... Okay, good. Unlock that shit. Give me my soul staff or whatever. Save your rod. Close enough. Alright, I'll be right back in just two seconds. Or I'm gonna pee myself. So hold on two seconds.
Alright, thank you for waiting patiently, or if you're on YouTube, not wasting patiently at all. So, let's discuss a thing. So, uh, <coughs> there's no easy way to say that uh, I'm not really at all close with my family. And it's not for uh, any really particular reason, I guess. Um, I guess it's more uh, a one-off thing. Like, uh, not that we don't see eye to eye or something, but like, our family's never been close. Um, I mean, my grandmother was, like, a super negative, pessimist, crabby person. And I can't really demonize that, because I'm kind of a super negative, crappy per or crabby person. Crappy person. Um, so, <coughs> I don't, like, blame my family members for, like, not being as proactive, I guess, as other people's families. Like, it's always weird. Like, I always had to explain to my wife, like, yeah, we don't do that in our family. Like, that's weird. Like, um, I'm trying to think of, like, good examples, but it's like, like, take, for example, like, hugs and kisses like that was not our like family thing it was like no like we would like shake hands at most or wave but like keep a distance from each other like personal space i guess is more important to our family that we don't like get like that like that's just not it's just not a thing we do like some families are like half making out with each other and you're like what the uh, but our family really was never like that and it wasn't like a thing and it's like you know oh you know oh you did something good for you like why should you be applauded for doing what you're supposed to be doing like I'm not gonna say it's like you know negative but it was like like you know some kids paint a picture and it's like oh that's so beautiful I'm so glad you could paint a picture in our family, it's like, well, good luck. Like, way to go with that. Like, maybe you could learn some more skills and make it a little bit better. Like, it's it's almost like nagging, but it's, like, not really bad. I mean, it's not like... I don't know. It, it It's not, like, meant to be offensive. It's just rough, I guess, is the way to put it. It's very hard for outsiders to deal with that. And... Like, one of my friends, their family, like... They, like... Like, almost romantic kiss each other. Like, that's really the only way to put it. It's... It really is like they're... They're romantically kissing each other. Like, they... They hug, like, hips together, kiss each other like like father daughter father father or father son like father father um that would be a whole new angle but it's like that's like a thing they do they're very intimate family like way too uncomfortably intimate of a family and it creeps me out like hardcore and i get it like i get it trust me i'm not missing it but to me, it's just weird. It's like almost foreign. Uh, let's uh, see. I really want to move you out in case she does something. Does anyone really need to be healed over here? Not really. She may just walk over and hit both of them. Uh, but let's be safe. Uh, so anyway, like our our family dealt more with logic and avoiding doing anything that made other people uncomfortable. That was like a bigger deal, I guess, to not make other people around you feel uncomfortable and stuff. And 
it was always it's always been hard because my wife like is a generally intimate family, but not like kissy kissy smoochy smoochy family kind of thing. Like they're not like it's like a kiss on the cheek, which that's okay. That's like an acceptable thing, but like I don't know. Like even like getting to know other people and stuff, we always keep people at, like an arm's reach. Like. We don't want you to be really close, but we want to keep you close enough that we're aware. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I guess it's a little hard to explain, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm like, a tad, I won't say like choked up, but more... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Well, anyway, um... The point of the whole thing is, is that, uh, my aunt had called me recently, and I hadn't talked to her in a little bit, so it was, it was no big deal. We catch up, like, once every two to three years or so, and it's not because we're older. Like, even when I was younger, I'd only see her once every, like, four or five years, so I was kind of accustomed to that. We might be able to move in and kill her. She does still have like 200. She can do like 96 damage. He would have 99, so he'd be like right on the border. Well, you can angel smile yourself. Um, probably should move them away so they don't all get hit by it. But then again, I think she. Might only have one left. But yeah, anyway, so for my family, it was. You know, oh, she has none left. Good. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff was, like, awkward. And intimacy is not an important thing. Like, like logic and acceptance were way more important in our family in general. So, for us, it was like, you know, and I mean us as in, like, you know, basically me. <laughs> it was, I, I won't say it was, like, hard being bitter about things. Like, not bitter, but being pessimistic about things and having to deal with people who are, like, way too happy about everything. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, not as bad as I thought it was. She's gonna die next, this turn anyway. But for me, it was, like, confusing why why people and other families did other stuff that was, like, rather confusing to me. Um, so, you know, I always had to explain to my wife, and it was always a difficult time. And actually, my aunt and I talked about this, and now it's like, well, try not to remain bitter, even though, you know, you grew up in a household that defines bitterness. Um, or at least pessimism. Uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we had a long chat about it, and it was a good time. Uh, and so I told her I got married, and I was like, you know, I would have invited you, and she's like, yeah, I wouldn't have come, go all that way just to see some people, like, who cares? Um, and that's the kind of attitude, like, I invited my mom to my wedding, but she probably didn't want to go out and see anybody, like, she doesn't know anybody, she doesn't want to get involved in that. Um, but, like... My mother-in-law doesn't understand that at all, and doesn't understand, like, the idea behind it. Yeah, that actually is a better result than the previous one. 